Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this lovely Thursday. What do we got? Uh, wow. One day. One, one day left. Well, actually, two days, including today, till the end of the month. Isn't that exciting? Hold on one second. Want to just do a couple of things right here. All right, good, good, good. All right, so um, everybody, everybody heard what happened with terrible things going on in Italy. I don't know if you heard about this coronavirus. They said, I put in the chat room, I just told you that we're, we're looking at a, um, they said there's 4,000 people on a cruise ship and then they got a coronavirus, one person. It looks like those people are going to be quarantined probably for two weeks that are in there. I mean, that's pretty crazy. But uh, we'll keep an eye on some of the stocks. Listen, it's the last day. The, um, tomorrow's the last day of the pay period. If you notice what's been going on with the market, really, really kind of yesterday. Actually, yesterday's advanced class, phase three, was awesome. So like I said, if you, if you missed it, you definitely better go watch it. It was, it was just, just great, great stocks, great situations. We made some really good money yesterday. But it's not about making money. It's about learning, you know, what we made money and what we lost. And then also when it comes to uh, – you know, I was keep mentioning that we only have two days left to the end of the pay period because traders work at the end of the month. So listen, if you've done your journals, you focused on your journals, and you know, remember the Excel spreadsheet one that we give you, the one that kind of kind of analyzes your trades automatically. Well, now it's time to know if you're ready to go to the first step to the second step. Meaning, are you a fa are you a level one trader? Are you ready to go? From yellow belt to, you know, I don't know what they call it, you know, brown belt or blue belt or, you know, if you're, you know, if you, if you level purple belt, there you go, Ken. You probably know better than me. Purple, is that what's after? Or maybe you're ready to go to black belt, you know, be a level five trader. But once again, it's very critical at the end of the month. And listen, the problem at the end of the month, too, I just want to kind of remind everyone, a lot of traders don't like to do anything crazy. They like to close out the month, so you might not get that much out action in the market other than you know seeing something that might be a huge catastrophe or something like that so be very very careful of that all right so anyway let's talk about what happened yesterday listen there are, by the way there are a couple of stocks that are moving this morning i'm just you know what i'm just a little disappointed uh i know some of you in the chat were also bringing it up i, I didn't find that much moving so far this morning you know like like this was one stock that i found this morning the mgen and uh Bring something up here. And when I was looking at level four and I was looking at here a total view, you know, I, I, not really seeing that many ice orders, you know, out there at certain levels and so on. So I was a little skeptical. I mean, there's a few things that are moving, but nothing really great yet. Okay. And typically with experience in doing this for 25 years, this is what happens at the end of the month. So there are a few of them I got there, and I want to talk about them. But there are some stocks I want to talk about what happened yesterday. First of all, the Lee trade was awesome, okay? This stock uh, was, was a fun stock to trade. You just change it right here, right out of the gate. This thing just literally ran from 2 bucks to 3 bucks. Cha-ching, big money. A lot of people did great. And, and, you know, not only if you missed a rally, it was shortable. It was shortable, so a lot of you missed it, and guess what? You made it pretty good on that short. So that one was good. SSI was phenomenal going in the afternoon yesterday. Great, great short. And for some of you, not all of you, it was on your short list, and you were able to get this short. And it was just a great, great short. Look, I think just tanked from 340 down to a buck. Where do you get better than that? By the way, I love stocks that get destroyed like this. Because guess what? It's on my watch list. It's on my watch list because it's up 10%, 300,000 shares. We might get a little dead cat bounce on that one. INO, another one, okay? This is going back on my watch list. Stocks up this morning, all over the place, pharmaceutical stock. You know, I don't know which one's with the coronavirus. The other one is. The other one are. I don't know what it is, but you know what? There's a lot of them out there. We're going to keep an eye on all of them. So remember, guys, see something, say something. You got your Benzinga, you know, news for feed. We have it. Some of you probably went out and spent a little more extra money and bought Bloomberg machine for about two thousand, three thousand a month. A, a month, you know. Listen, this is this is what we do here. You got to spend money to make money. So see something, say something. Uh, Ken says um, it'll drop. I and O. Listen, it, 
it, it, it went from 350 all the way to six. They're so volatile. You know what I mean? This is all speculation. All speculation. This is all spec stocks. We don't know who's in it, who's out of it. Everyone just, this is just reminds me of the whole dot com thing. You know what I mean? You had a company, you go public, you, you, and, and you, wrote, you put dot com at the end of it. You know, the stock literally took off. That's what it's all about. Any stocks that had the virus in the name might go crazy right now. And, and you know what, Wayne? You got to remember something. It's, it's all, you know, supply and demand. The company be like, we're not even in the business. You know what I mean? I don't know what that but for some reason, my first name started with Corona. You know what I mean? And all of a sudden, Corona Pharmaceuticals, and all of a sudden, you know, not saying there's a Corona stock out there, but, you know, I'm telling you, that's why it's so important to follow what's going on on the news stations, you know, listen to fake news. It, it, that will not stop the chaos of these things taking off. But at the end of the day, guys, you know, that's what we're here for. We're here to benefit and make money. Now, let's talk about some of the stocks that are moving. MGEN. MGEN. So looking at MGN, if the thing had a nice little rally, 60 cents to $2. It's backing off. Thing was up big this morning, and now it's kind of settling down. Once again, another pharmaceutical stock out there. So I don't know. Maybe anything I see has to do with pharmaceutical stocks. I'm thinking right away, this definitely has to do with coronavirus. Absolutely. And you could see it right here, what happened in the last several days. That, that was son of them. Uh, let me see. I got an alert here. Okay. Uh, just want to see. I also I subscribed a couple of new services and alerts just in case something comes up. Boom, we're in those stocks and we're trading them. Anyway, so I, this right now to me is second protocol. All right, L L I T, another one. Stocks up big. Another another medical stock. Stock did great yesterday. It gapped up again this morning. It's kind of testing two three days resistance levels. You could see that in the long term chart. Not a lot of iceberg orders out there. Let me just fix something here. My uh, total view. Uh, So I'm just I'm just looking right here and see what's going on with this one right here. L L I T. Easier way to read. You know, you got a couple of orders here, five thousand and so on. Uh you can see them over here on the right too. Keep an eye on it. Not really nothing. You can see it's trending down. So I don't know if if the hype kinda is settling down a little bit right here. Uh I N O, which is one we were talking about this morning. Once again, gapped up. Another one of those pharmaceutical stocks. Could be another one of those corona stocks. And 1.2 million shares already traded just in pre-market alone. You know, you know what's crazy? I, 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 I did a presentation, uh, an on-site presentation two weeks ago. And till today, till today, 99% of the people still don't understand how pre-market works. And it's just scary, you know? But don't worry about it. It's never too late to learn out there. Never too late. I N O, nice little stock right there. We're going to keep an eye on it. That treat is pretty well. GNPX, another one that's gapped up too. This one also up about, uh, I don't know. Shoot, it was up a little bit better. May, I might pass on this one. I might pass on it. Facebook. You know, we're not trading this stock, right? But I have to bring it up because guess what? Obviously, they didn't like what they heard. Facebook uh, took a huge dive. Huge correction, and um, it's kind of holding here pretty pretty good. But there's a lot of earnings coming out this week, tons of them. I mean, so you saw what happened with Facebook, and you know what? We know we're not going to be trading. Uh, we know we're not going to be trading uh, Tesla, but I, I got to talk about it. How could you not? I mean, this thing less than a couple of months ago was like 200. The thing you want to talk about a winner? This thing tripled. Holy crap. So anyway, I, 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 I still like the Chinese stock version of it. It's a cheaper way of getting into something. But until that whole Corona thing takes care of, I think that's going to probably be a fun swing trade right there. But you know what? Good for him. He looks like he's going to get his $500 million. Uh, he signed a deal with Tesla that if you keep it over 600 I don't know. People say it's going to go to 1200 I mean, God bless him. 
That you got to love corporate America. That's a you know, great entrepreneur. Congratulations. And you know what else I congratulate? The employees. The employees are probably so happy. Good for them. Anyway, we got that one. What else we got? Did we talk about SSI? Yeah, that one we talked about. That one, because it got beat up, I want to look at it on the uptrend. ISNT, that's another one right there. Gapped up and came right back down. I don't know what that's all about. So, But I'm going to put on second protocol. MO, um, MYOS, another one that came up on my radar. That's the one. Uh, it's up right now about 35%. If you look in the long-term chart, the only thing that throws me off, the thing's all over the place. So I don't know what that's all about. But you know what? It is breaking an all-time high. So I want to keep an eye on that one. Uh, NVAX. NVAX. We all know that one, too. That one's going on the watch list. That's gapped up again this morning, too. Up 160,000 shares. Not up a lot. Up only a 5%. You know what? I just want to kind of leave us off with one thing. Do I win all the time? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And you know what? When I lose, I get ticked off, but I don't quit. And let me tell you something. There's nothing better of a feeling of selling a stock, losing a little money, where you can lose everything. And you all know I was a big fan of this stock, I, and I was watching it. We saw the stock get destroyed from 26 all the way down to $6. And you know what? As a swing trader, as a day trader, I said, you know what? You know, we swing. I'm just bringing this up. And I'm like, you know what? This stock is starting to break up every day. And it started to go from 6 to 6.50 to 7 to 7.58. I said, you know what? Looks like it's filling the gap. So I went long around 7.75. Uh, it went to 8. I'm like, wow, this stock looks like it's going to really pop. You know? Everything we learn as a swing trader. Well, guess what? I was wrong. And I lost money on that trade. I actually lost 30 cents on that trade. And guess what? That $0.30 cents loser right now would have been a $4 loser. So if you bought 1,000 shares and you lost 300, imagine losing 4,000. That's how you, you know, how you learn. And you know what? 30-second rule, lower lows, supply out there, you know, consistent trending down. And it just feels so damn good to know that you had something and you got out and thank God you did, because when you see something like this, I'm like, wow, thank God I wasn't like everybody else. This is the power of being a very good day trader. So I just want to bring this up. It's a tip of the day, you know, because everyone out there, one of the hardest things to teach, we tell everybody, our job at CyberTrain University is not to teach you how to make money. It's to teach you how to stop losing it. The winners take care of themselves. Everyone likes to brag and talk about it, this and that. I know it feels good. But most people, the reason why you're getting trained, the reason why you're part of it is you're having problems to defeat the losers. And nobody likes to talk about them. And that, I don't have a problem talking about it because, thank God, from what I've learned from experience, this is what teaches you how to get out of it. All right? Because you know what? You're going to lose in trading. It's part of the game. Listen, there's no such thing as a baseball player that bats 1,000. But if you bat 300, you're the best baseball player in the, in, in, in the industry but they're striking out 700% of the time. Doesn't sound like a good ratio. So here as a trader, we just tell everyone, hey, you know what? You're supposed to bat about 700. Three, you, you know, three, you, 700 is pretty not bad if you're striking out 300% of the time. That's what that, that, so that is your tip of the day. And I want to point it out because I just feel really good. And I just feel psyched that the stock got crushed. And I know some of us were in it. And I want to just talk about it. So anyway, um, Losing is fun. Winner is funner. <laughs> yeah, I know, right, Ken? I totally agree with you. But, um, but you know what? You, you, you can't take it personal, you know? Can't take it personal. All right, guys, listen. Good luck today. Happy trading. Remember, it's the last day of the pay period. Uh, well, tomorrow is, actually. So you got two more days. We, not a lot of going on pre-market right now. You know, we'll see what happens when the market opens up. We always find new ones that pop up. And as we see something, we'll say something. We'll start commentary in about 10 minutes. Um, and for all you here, I mean, uh, or listen to me, like I said, just sit back and watch and uh, just be very careful out there. All right, guys? Good luck. Happy trading. And we'll see you all back at 2.30 for the afternoon meeting. Happy trading, everyone.